Bottom line is that um, does PRP injection work in the clinic? Now, sure, it improves. You know, some people get better. You know, should you may as well just save them the many hundreds of dollars or pounds that are being charged for this and say, look, I'll do this for you for free. I'm going to inject some placebo. You know, it's that whole issue about power of placebo and you've got podcasts on that as well. But I'm just making the point that please, you know, if you're a clinician, don't come to me if I'm a patient and try and tell me that there's some advantage over placebo in PRP because you've seen some patient get better, you know, over PRP. That's, you know, training should stop you from doing that. Like there's what you see as a human where A, not better, injection, better. It's like, okay, that's a human. But with all our science knowledge, when you have a placebo group, there's no difference. So please don't tell me there's a difference from a placebo group. And then, you know, I'd switch to a different tack. If someone goes, Karim, I don't believe any of that, you know, then I'd say to them, well, what about the biological rationale for PRP? Like, what's the PRP doing? And I'd argue that the people haven't answered this convincingly, and I've been watching this for more than 10 years, you know, because what it says is that there are growth factors. So there's this magic factors, and then these factors make you better. It's like, okay, there are factors. I can run off the alphabet soup as well, IGF-1, you know, all these different proteins that are in the blood and in the body. But that's like saying, you know, you're going to make a pregnancy by having progesterone and estrogen and maybe prolactin and just throw them in some sort of soup. That's not going to get you a baby or a healthy baby or, you know, that's not how biology works. Like the biology is a complex mix of hormones and proteins and um, synthesis of material. They can't just be thrown in. Now with PRP, the day, if you were a patient of mine, Mariana, fortunately for you, you're not. You know, if you come in, if you choose to come in and get an appointment with me today, the PRP that we spin down today is meant to have the perfect mix of factors for your um, injury. Let's say I was busy and I saw you in two weeks' time. All of a sudden, when we spin down your blood the two weeks' time, the magic factor is in exactly the right proportion to treat your injury on that day. But that just doesn't make any sense. Like it seems so banal when I say it. Somehow the body has got this mix in the blood of the right factors to, you know, magically fix tendons at that day. And I'm sticking with tendons because that's where the very compelling randomized trial evidence is that it doesn't work. So um, I was comfortable 10 years ago. I said I have an open mind and I've been, I'd say, validated and vindicated that PRP is not helpful compared to placebo and injection, both in the randomized trials. And I'm yet to hear compelling evidence of how the magicians who are putting the PRP in can get those magic growth factors in the right proportion over the right time to make the tendon heal.